Item number, SCP-1085. Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures, All confirmed copies of SCP-1085 are to be stored in Video Archive 38 Beta at Site 38. All similar copies are to be located, quarantined, analyzed for anomalous properties, and either released for retail sale or contained. Copies of SCP-1085 may be destroyed only by D-Class personnel, however, given the doubtful benefit to Foundation research and the total unusability of personnel after such destruction, this is generally considered a waste of resources and requires approval from Site-38 Command. Should the number of SCP-1085 iterations become difficult to contain, alternate measures, mass destruction via steamroller or explosive detonation, may be taken into consideration. All civilians affected by SCP-1085 are to be treated as well as possible, though no confirmed survivors have as yet been located. Description. SCP-1085 is a fitness exercise DVD entitled Colon One Month to Pound Off the Pounds, starring the eponymous fitness guru. The DVD contains four calisthenic routines of increasing difficulty, each designed to be performed five to six times per week before moving on to the next level. All of the routines include some form of boxing or martial arts regimen and places a strong emphasis on cardio and abdominal workouts. SCP-1085's anomalous effects are present in 2% of the copies of Pound Off the Pounds. Produced to date, the majority of copies lack any anomalous properties, and neither herself nor any part in the DVD's production has been verified to be responsible for SCP-1085. These properties begin to manifest when one or more individuals watch the workouts contained on the DVD. Effects vary depending on the routine being done in any given week. The workouts and their effects are detailed below. Due to large number of copies of SCP-1085 acquired, authorization given on 19-02 to begin experimental destruction of a limited number of redundant copies. D-class personnel chosen for this assignment disposed of the DVDs by physically crushing the disc and throwing the pieces into a garbage can. All D-class personnel who carried out the assignment began developing the symptoms of late-stage SCP-1085 exposure, without having actually viewed any of the workouts. Current research suggests that the entity portraying in SCP-1085 may be an actual organism rather than a hallucination on the parts of affected individuals. Addendum 1085A, Description of SCP-1085 Videos Week 1, Workout consists of a warm-up session, followed by 3 6-minute circuits, 3 minutes of strength training, 2 minutes of cardio, one minute of abdominal exercise, and a cool-down session. Workouts will be unusual in composition, but will not be seen as difficult, even for extremely out-of-shape individuals. Such individuals will express surprise at their ability to complete the workout, along with a determination to complete the rest of the month's workouts. The workout will seem easier as the week proceeds due to general improvement of physical conditioning. The host and narrator will provide encouraging words throughout the workout and at the end, emphasizing the ability of the audience to change their lives through positive thinking. No anomalous qualities detected with this workout, individuals completing this workout once or even repeatedly have been able to stop the workout without negative side effects. A notable excerpt from this workout includes this is not just a workout, this is the road map for the rest of your life. I know what you're capable of, and you will give it to me, and you will never stop giving. Not ever. Week 2, similar workout structure as week 1. However, the workout intensifies significantly in difficulty. Notably, the workout will demonstrate a slight variance depending on the physical ability and willingness of the individual to complete it, given their successes in week 1. Individuals will feel motivated to complete the workout in spite of the extensive physical discomfort required. 
those more inclined to quit find the workout to be slightly less difficult, though the narration will be angrier and more negative in tone. Regardless, very few individuals, percent, opt to give up on the program at this point, even when such an option is provided, and even when the individuals did not feel strongly motivated to lose weight at the beginning of the program. Those abandoning the month-long program during week 2 report recurring nightmares for up to months, in which, data redacted, for what feels like days. These nightmares, are most common after days in which such individuals eat excessive amounts of fatty foods. Those remaining in the program will report an increasing degree of platonic affection for the host and a desire to please her, meanwhile, the host will become increasingly agitated with the individual's progress regardless of the difficulty or degree of effort put forth. This agitation becomes evident when the host says we are all weak, but you are here to bleed the weakness out. I want you to bleed if you have to, and I want you to thank me for the person you become. Week 3, similar workout structure as weeks 1 and 2. Their workouts will vary in length from 3 to 6 circuits depending on the physical ability of the individual performing the workout. The host's commentary will now be overtly targeted towards the actions of the audience, directly critiquing the individual's efficiency, thoroughness, and form during each circuit. At no point will individuals watching week 3's workout notice anything strange about the host watching them and responding to their behavior with further instructions. When individuals are not performing the workout, they will more acutely perceive their physical flaws and feel motivated to work out on their own, to the point of almost totally eschewing motor transportation in favor of running and doing calisthenic activities such as push-ups and crunches, in as much of their spare time as possible. This effect will often endanger affected individuals' social status as others will perceive marked irregularities and eccentricities in their behavior. Affected individuals will increasingly ignore outside criticisms of their behavior in favor of what wants. In spite of any degree of physical conditioning and devotion to the host's will, no circumstance has developed in testing in which any individual has been successful in placating the host, who will show only disgust with the individual's progress. At the end of the workout, the host will always say I wanted so little from you, and you failed me. I will never be finished with you. Week 4, once an individual begins to watch the week 4 workout. They can be designated as SCP-1085-1. The workout consists of a video of the room in which all the other workouts took place. The room is empty and silent. Individuals who have carried out the workout regimen to this point will begin to display emotional distress, frequently begging the television screen to bring her back or something similar. SCP-1085-1 instances will then begin to exercise compulsively and without provocation in front of the screen, often while crying. The video will last as long as the individual remains in front of the television, however, SCP-1085-1 instances will eventually leave the vicinity of the television. After watching the video, all instances of SCP-1085-1 will experience a total psychotic break from reality. Individuals will begin exercising compulsively and without rest. This may involve running, calisthenic exercise, jumping rope, or any other exertive activity. Many will refuse to speak during the activity, or will repeat never stop again and again, one of the host's mottos. This manic exercise regimen will continue until affected individuals are physically incapable of further movement, if not given sustenance, SCP-1085-1 instances will starve or dehydrate. Such individuals must be physically restrained and immobilized to avoid death, though SCP-1085-1 instances thus restrained will claim to see the host screaming threats and obscenities at them. The resulting sleep deprivation is often fatal, antipsychotic medicine and sleep-inducing agents have no effect. Addendum 1085b, experiment carried out 12-02 into potential treatments for late-stage SCP-1085 effects. One individual, D5656, 
was exposed to all four weeks of SCP-1085 over the course of four days, developing symptoms along the expected schedule. After developing into the SCP-1085-1 stage, subject was given repeated class A amnesiac treatments. Upon waking, subject was determined not to recall his name, his crime, or the past seven years of his life to any extent. When asked to describe the individuals he saw in the room, with the head researchers and one nurse present, subject described Dr. Comma Nurse, comma, and that angry looking bitch who keeps glaring at me. Subject described an individual with S appearance, though with what he described as multiple open wounds on the limbs and a distorted face. Subject began to display agitation and fear, and requested that the third individual stop screaming at him. When told that there was nobody else in the room, subject rose from the bed and responded funny, that's what she says about you before commencing a series of jumping jacks.